Hey, good morning, guys. We got uh, so much to see in, inside these two hangars, but there's a couple of planes we want to show you right now that are significant. One's got a little tie to San Diego history. Well, actually, they both do. Let's bring in Jim Kidrick, the president and CEO of the San Diego Air and Space Museum. All right, Jim, this plane is very special. Tell well, us how it is. came to be here. Well, this is Baron Hilton's uh, personal stagger wing, a Beechcraft airplane uh, built back in 1943, and uh, he wanted it to be in San Diego. Uh, I tell a wonderful story. I'm sitting uh, with him in his office. He was a heavy cigar smoker, so let me tell you, it was. I thought I was smoking a cigar when I was with him, but just a great human being, uh, certainly a Chargers history for us in San Diego, and it's just the two of us sitting in his office, and he turns to me in the conversation, because, you know, we inducted him into our International Air and Space Hall of Fame. And he said, Jim, can you think of any reason why I shouldn't give you my stagger wing when I pass away? Now, I want you to know that day I flunked the test because I told him, I said, Baird, I can't think of any reason you shouldn't give it to us. And here it is. His name's on it. It is uh, the most famous stagger wing, you know, in the world. Uh, it's an airplane that, uh, you know, from Jaeger to Harrison Ford to the all of the greats in aviation over the years have actually He's flown in this airplane, and it's here in San Diego for us. Talk about history. Oh. It's legendary, this airplane. It's, you know, and to see him flying it, you know, in the day, uh -huh. uh, like I said, this is, uh, you know, his ranch was up in Yerington, Nevada, uh, which, uh, you know, people have gone to over many, many, many years. And, uh, you know, Gene Cernan's been in this airplane. I mean, everybody right. is truly great. Okay, another, a different, a completely different type of airplane. We were going to take you over to see. This is very unique. This was actually built in San Diego by Ryan Aeronautical. And it was very unique. Here, come over here, Jim. Miguel. Okay. Now tell us about the X-13 VertiJet. Well, this is a, this is a follow-on to the Pogo, okay, which was mm -hmm. a counter-rotating prop. And we also have a video of this plane flying. If you guys have it, you can roll it now. Well, because that flight, okay, and the flight back in D.C. when they wanted to show it off, uh, you know, this is the uh, uh, the X-13 VertiJet. Uh, you can see the difficulty, okay, in being able to take off and land this airplane. Uh, the pilot actually was able to hook up with only five minutes of fuel left. Wow. Uh, so this is the only airplane you're ever going to see. They do have the uh, one other, as you uh, and I were talking about, at the Air Force Museum in storage, uh, but we have it right here in San Diego. We never tell the Smithsonian we still have it because uh, we built the platform for it and it's just a wonderful story of the technology and the changes that were that were tried because they ended up not choosing this as a vertical takeoff platform uh, but just to see what this airplane could do in its day. It was great. To, it's great to see, but it, in, the, in the end, it just wasn't really practical, was it? No, it really wasn't. And uh, you know, the uncertainties, and you know, you're putting your best pilots in it, trying to uh, to make it work. And when they can't make it work efficiently, uh, it's probably time to uh, move on to the next airplane. Amazing. And and of course, really, the AV8A Harrier was a follow-on, and the the first true vertical takeoff and, uh, and landing airplane that was successful. Wow. All right. That's the X-13 VertiJet. You got to see the stagger ring. Uh, thank you, Jim. As always, we have another report coming up. And um, have you guys ever heard of the Pope blessing a helicopter? No. Is this a joke? <laughs> no, it's not a joke, Paul. <laughs>